for moments, and it really is, uh, it's like a bittersweet moment. A moment. Mm. It's a moment here in the 814, folks. Our, uh, after 21 years, our beloved John Clay is actually, it's his last day today. Today's it. Today's it. Today. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to, to the VA hospital. I guess first question, why don't you tell the folks how you're helping the VA? Well, I'm uh, largely going to be in charge of the veterans program, the volunteer program. Yeah. So the f there's so many hundreds of volunteers, and so I'm a guy that will help uh, to support them and to f figure out how we can do our mission, yeah. which is really to make sure, I mean, you think in a community, the VA is to make sure that a veteran is supported from the time that they get communicated with or talked to or, or they're visiting the center. Uh, is everything great and that's what, you, what we really want to make sure is happening and you know there's concerns about that around the country and we want to make sure that every veteran that is in Altoona thinks I got top-notch care and and that's what the volunteers tend to do is they yeah. they pick you up at the house and bring you to mm. the hospital so great. yeah I you know it was of course like I said it's bittersweet leaving I I've done this TV thing for a long time yeah. like 21 years here wow. and then before that in the military and I thought if I'm gonna leave I want to do something that has real service to the community and service to veterans. Yeah. And so uh, that was a goal of mine, and I'm just so happy that I'm able to do that. And a big part of this move is to be able to spend more time with my kids. I love exactly. that. So that's and you're really a veteran too, yeah. right? Yep. So that, I mean, to be able to help, I really have still a, a big bond with veterans, and uh, to be able to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. I could say it never felt like work coming in here. Yeah. It always felt interesting and fun and everybody so <laughs> Are you I'm sure those thrilled. early days when you worked with me? You were <laughs> Okay, you're right. <laughs> it did, it there were some feel, days that were some work. <laughs> it did feel work like work. <laughs> <laughs> but you enjoyed yeah. it though. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, John, over your 21 years, you've you've really engaged the community, and I know with a lot of your uh, you know pieces, some of your special stories you've done have been about highlighting veterans and mm. the stories of veterans. Uh, talk a little bit about why that was so important to you in this job and even connecting with the community. Well, first first of all, there's so few TV reporters and anchors who are veterans. Yeah. So I felt this huge responsibility. To, to really uh, carry that and to know that um, there, there was no way that I was gonna let those folks down. Yeah. And so, you know, it's not like we can get to everything, but I, could, I felt like that was a responsibility of mine to make sure that a part of our community was covered. And so uh, uh, that was a key thing. And number two, just, you just have to spend 10 minutes at the veterans, like for example, at the VA and the Van Sant, going up to visit. Uh, sometimes they'll allow us to come up and visit with some of the veterans. These might be their last days. And mm. to, to spend time with them and hear about their, um, their life is fascinating. It's like a little history book and being in a museum in a sense and it's living right there and, wow. and you just really feel it and I thought you know whatever we can do to make sure that their stories are heard yeah. uh, is, is fantastic That's for everybody. That's amazing. So, the, yeah. the VA is in good hands. Yes, oh thank of you. Of course. <laughs> um, and John you uh, really helped with the transition from Central PA Live uh, to, to what it is now Studio 814 and we actually uh, have a clip of it. You, you seem well, to like our he, theme song He likes bit. us. Yeah. How's it go? Studio 814. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were doing a Rebecca and yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I was. Did you, did you I, see? I heard did at the feel? end. But you were you channeled me so well, and um, I'm truly honored. <laughs> truly you honored will be missed, John Clay. Uh, thank you. Well, yeah. and I really will miss you guys. I mean, I, this there's no question. This is family, and so that doesn't change. So I feel <laughs> great about the fact that I mean, I'm still just going to be up the road. Yeah. yeah. I'm still going to be doing some work uh, with the station with veterans and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be. He's here. not. He's going to be around, I'll folks. Be uh, and John, on a personal, I want to thank you so much uh, for folks. You know, I I was a reporter at one point before I would get piled in the face and goof around with these <laughs> uh, people here on the show. And uh, you really did He's mentor me people. and uh, make me feel welcome when I first joined here uh, about four years ago. So I want to thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Miss you, Kyle. Thank you. I, I really love what you guys do. And I think it's so crucial that to have the uh, ability for viewers to feel like they're part of this show yeah. and to, to have a, a way to get mm. these types of things out into the community. And, so. and don't worry, Great you're job. still anchoring tonight. Yes. yes. <laughs> he will be anchoring his so last get to week work, tonight. John. You got to go back to work, <laughs> folks. We have much more still to come. Stay with us.